Yeah, right on, Jesus. It's really good. Colin McCann, are you impressed? I am. Malissimo. Si, sí, muy bueno. Dad, all these famous artists like my drawing. You're a star. Yes, I think he's improved on perfection. Um, You're the Renaissance man, Leonardo. Hey, uh, would you look at that beautiful sunset? I am. God, that's good. Yes, I painted that. I know. Oh, yes. And the pink and white terraces and the Grand Canyon. Um, what is it, Jesus? Hello? You're the supreme being? <sighs> you don't have to be the center of attention all the time? I suppose I can be a jealous god sometimes. Don't know why. You got the whole world in your hand. Bloody dead. Selling the alarm clock. Sorry these guys are late, brother. Ah, oh, miss. That's all right. I'm Miss Forterry, your mm. substitute art teacher while brother Christian defends his bad touching allegations. Uh, yes, we're going to enter a fascinating and mysterious world of sex and death oh. and life and lust. She said enter. Any questions? Yes. What's that thing crawling across your forehead? <laughs> That's my eyebrow. Your eyebrow ow. <laughs> Go on. Express yourself in your unique indigenous way. Share what you see when you look at the world, yeah? I see a little silhouette of a man. Who did this? Galileo. Yeah, it's my tribute to Colin McCann. Hmm, nice. If somewhat derivative. It's because it's a tribute. But this is truly adorable. It's mine, miss. Cool. Oh, thanks, Reuben. So innocent and childlike. He's really good at drawing muscle men, miss. It's my forte. It's forte, Huh? This is one of the books she gave me. Cool, eh? If you like the look of naked old white guys, I prefer the ladies myself, but I'm not gonna judge you, my poofta son. Miss Forte they said I had a gift. You know, I could have been an artist once. Really, really Dad? Dad? I was quite a natural, as I recall. Recall, recall, recall. Look, Dad, I saw them across the room, and I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> How many times have I told you, Papillo? This art gonna get you a wife? Mm. Fly your cousins mm. to New Zealand? Mm. Give you a job so you can feed any kids who have the misfortune of having you as their father? Mm. Mm. Yeah. I tried to live my dream again when I got to New Zealand, but the harsh reality of modern branding meant that art had to take a back seat to the bar. And it has been there for some time. But these are just the ramblings of an old crazy man. It's too late now. Wow, that actually was quite moving, Dad. Yeah, but what about what Miss Forte has said about me? Up your ass, mate. Yeah, I'm going to my room. I may be some time. Yeah, Skeletor. Uh, Miss is going to love this. Come have a pie, bro. Because it's Friday, which I call... Hi, day. See what I've done. No thanks. I'm going vegetarian. Hey! hey. Miss Forte has said that because art comes from within, you should watch what you put into your body. Da Vinci was a vegetarian. He was also a homo. So? Look, I'm not one to name drop, but I know heaps of starving artists on the street. whoop de doo I starve all the time at home. Oh, you think you're flesh because you live in a house with four walls, eh? You have changed, Valeria. Just piss off. You're disturbing my muse. Look at him, Honky. So privileged and pampered. Born with a silver spoon in his mouth and everything handed to him on a bladder with capers and olives and all manner of exquisite delicacies. Mm. I'll show him. I'll show you all. What do you think, Dad? It's taken me hours. Ah, it's all right, I suppose, if you like looking at a toilet paper after you've done a poo and wiped your bum. Hey? And what's with the pirate shit? It's Basquiat. Hey, where's my painting of my Spartan, Mac? You took it, eh? Oh, please. Today, a lovely treat. Pavlova. Uh, no. Oh. Uh, does anyone know what life drawings oh. are? I would like to answer that question with a question. Yes, Jeff. Have you got 20 bucks? <laughs> Anyone else? Is that your final answer? Miss, is it drawings of naked bodies? Very good, Vale. Wow. Oh. My first art stiffy. All right. Now, please make okay. our model feel comfortable. Give it, boy. No way. Why is this unacceptable? Uh, Mr. Papello is very passionate about art. Yeah. And he's promised to leave his grapes intact. Yeah, my grapes are raw. Oh, We're going to see a sausage. Yeah. I'm gonna need therapy for this. Oh, what? Will you keep still? 
Stop jiggling his heart. Yeah, he's winking at me. You wish, fat boy. I am beautiful and everything I do. Oh, Dad, please stop eating mm. your great... Hey, Gannabella girl, I saw you from across the room. I just couldn't help myself. These are extraordinary. <laughs> You're an artist too. <laughs> Miss Forte, I've finished. I dabble sometimes. Miss... It's in my blood. Like Miss... alcohol or something. Miss... <laughs> what is it, Valia? Nah, it's too late now. I'm walking out in a half. Mm. Can't you tell I'm angry? Can't you see my raging fury? My, my big throbbing vein! It's his artistic temperament! Oh, Miss Forte, I might need a addition. Oh. Maybe a couple. Uh, oh. Oh, Oops, uh, maybe a whole box. Oh, give me a gas mask. Hey! Wow, you're really good at painting, eh, Dad? Oh, how would you know? You don't have to have a battle gift for art. Savalier does. Well, that's a moot point. Yeah, sure, Dad, but now that he's doing well at something, the best you could do is be support... Uh, what are you trying to tell me, Sam? That you're a homo? Look, if there's ever a time to encourage and support Valia, then that time is now, Dad. Yeah, because I wouldn't mind, Sam. Your animals need love, too. Oh, forget it. Mm. Hurry up, boys. Always wanted Whoa. to come in here. I'm sure she's born. Piggy, come and meet my son. Rodney. Get lost. Go out from my shoes and you go away. Hey, look, guys. There's food down this way. Banari. Where's the rest of the sandwich? Fiona, they're called canapes. So, canapes have the rest of the sandwich? Oh, $5,000 dollars for this? Oh, one of my dad's good painters with a stew when he's drunk. Who did that? Takakolo falahiatu. I'm John Pule. That's one of mine. Oh, cool, cool. Hey, uh, got 20 bucks? I think you better keep moving. Hey, lady, I'm just trying to make conversations. Come on, Jeff. What the? Portrait of a Spartan as a muscle man. By Valea Papillo. Shop, bro. Now I've seen everything. Oh, Valea. Miss Witchwhite, my old foster mum. Did you see my painting? Yes, and I'm so proud. What a long way you've come since Sifs took you from your father and placed you in my care. <laughs> she said, come yeah. John Reynolds, artist, laureate, curator. Valea Papillo, artist extraordinary. E. Young man, what you've created is truly epic, and it resonates on a whole raft of cultural frequencies. Hey. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Ah, it's inspirational. I feel a new novel coming on. <laughs> is it coming? You must tell us who inspires your art over dinner tonight. We'd love you to join us. It would be my greatest pleasure. Um, Babello, Babello, artist of 15th Esquire, Lord Duke Bob. Oh, Dad, what are you doing here? Oh. Have you come to look at my painting hanging up on that wall over there in this really flash art gallery? Yeah, very thought-provoking with subtle undertones of shit. Now, where are we eating? <laughs> 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 and then I said, like Salvador Dali, I said, I do not take drugs. I am drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Dali was a chronic masturbator. Yeah, a man after my own balls. I wonder oh. if you did it like this. Put it away. Who did? Oh, artists, they're such free spirits. Show off, guy. This dinner's for me. Malaya, you're so lucky to be born into a nurturing art environment. <gasps> hey, you ain't seen nothing yet, mate. Mr. Papilla, how remarkable. Top dogs. Top, Top dogs. dogs. Is that like hot dogs? Ah, that John Reynolds. He goes on a bit, but bloody top dog. And a Mari chap, very witty. I think he wanted to bum me. Dad, that was my moment. We were together. The air was alive and electric, and you stole it like chocolate from Rakesh's dairy. Just because you can draw big brown fairies doesn't mean you have to act like one, mate. I'm sick of you. I'm going to the streets where real art belongs. Come on, Mac. Excuse me. Your bus shelter's got a new flat, mate, buddy. Oh, so you two go around now? Well, wow. it was only a matter of time. Yeah! But, yeah are you sure? I mean, I haven't, I haven't cleaned the, the bus shelter in weeks. Dirty or the better, bro. I'm an artist. OK. I'll, um, I'll just go and um, forage for some food, and then I'll come back and pick you up. Hey, Valera, can I sleep in your room? Always wonder what it's like to sleep under a wooden roof. 
Uh, I'm sure Valeria isn't really going to go and live on the streets. Only if you wash your ass first. Yes, yes, I'll wash my ass. I will, Valeria. I'll do it for you. Ladies, haters, I'm going on a big art trip and I will be sometime. This must be what happiness feels like. Good grief. Bloody, bloody sand in my eye. Oh, uh, Vale, can you show me where your room is? I, I can't see through my happiness. Come on then, Jeff. Oh, I got glaucoma. <laughs> oh, the humanity. Oh, Rodney, you've been telling your friends you're homeless for seven years. This was bound to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might actually enjoy it, Roddy Poo. What an experience. Rodney, me. sleeping at a bus stop? I'm almost tempted to tag along for the comedy. <laughs> Hilarious! Has anyone ever told you that you're a bitch bastard? <laughs> Come on, Dolly. Go away, oh, then. Dear. Are you laughing at me too, Dolly? Let's see how funny you find the street. What do you call it again, Dolly? It's a mattress. My mattress. I'm on a mattress. Uh, what's that? That's a roof. Oh, right. roof. I feel like I'm in Buckingham Palace. Hello, roof. Hello, floor. Hello, window. One, two, three, seven. Hello, favorite pillow. Oh. Okay, Dolly Bar. If anyone asks, we're not boyfriend and girlfriend. Do you understand? Look, can you please paint outside? The, the paint fumes are making me dizzy. We are outside. I love being a starving artist. I'm eating more than I eat at home. <laughs> it's just a hedgehog, Mac. What are you doing here? Dolly! Uh, doesn't anyone knock on the main streets of Morningside? Yeah, this is my bus shelter. I don't see your name on it. Just there, see here, I'll write it again. Artist. Your, your spelling's appalling. And your tag's whack. Why don't you do oh. a cool picture so it makes the hood look nicer? Shut up, what? Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's from my fortunate period. <laughs> I said period. Oh, you said period. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, I hardly think we should be encouraging vandalism. Oh, shut up, Mac. I'm sharing the power of art. Hey, fella! Yeah, artist. Oh, artist! Yeah. I'm gonna move on to headbands next time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> More fry bread, Uncle! Yep! Brother Volley? No thanks, Brother Jeff. You see, Valley, this is what good son do. Not like bloody Mona Lisa. Ooh, look, Daddy, I can do a poof the muscle man in skirts. Sure, Uncle. Your impersonation's great. Ooh, uh, Uncle, I got you the paper too. The, this is it, eh, I think. Hey, driver, mate. Come and read this to me. Ha-ha! <laughs> hey, big ass! Valley! Can you tell that Bruna he's not welcome in my hood? You tell him, he's just there. Vale! Dad, uh, Valia said you're a ruiner and you're not welcome in his hood. Well, you can tell the young prince that Daddy Gans is sorry and wants to make it up to him by giving me a lift to school in the Royal Chariot. Really, Dad? Yeah, really. Thanks for the lift, Dad. Mighty big of you. Hey. I think there's a picture of you in the paper today from the exhibition. Wow, a review. Cool! What does it say? Extra, extra! Read all about it! The labor bill of hard is set! What the? Oh, yep, no. it's all official. Um, just a look at. Um, maybe you shouldn't read this, bro. Oh, it's okay. I memorized it. John Reynolds. Classic collection marred only by the juvenile and frankly embarrassing scribblings of a labor bill. Oh, no. Yep, read and weep. <gasps> Your father's coming, timing is impeccable, <laughs> and through a megaphone, hilarious Rex. Piss off, reviewers. Piss off, Dad. Are you all right, Valaya? Piss off, Muse. You lying bitch. Language. You should all get stuffed. I'm the only tool I need. You're a tool, all right, buddy. I am art. I am art. I am art. Malaya. Gone mental. Put that ribbon. You nearly got my ear. Nice haircut, Malaya. Very vulnerable. I feel quite melancholy and depressed. Yeah, get used to it. Malaya, we've been looking for you everywhere. Who's that lady? Oh my gosh. Bro, what have you done to your hair? Ooh, I rather like it. Piss off! Where's the lamp? I got new friends now. DeLorean and Ruben are artists too. They understand me. Oh. Come on, Valera. Let's go abuse that critic on my 
I suppose. Yeah. Are you still brooding over that dumb review? Oh, it was all gags. It didn't even mention us anyway. We're here for you, bro, like always. How could you Filipinos understand? <gasps> what do you call it's us? Philistines. Cheer up, emo kid. Oh, I can't cheer up. I'm emo. Ruben, DeLorean and I, we're out of here tomorrow. What? We might even go to Paris. Who knows? This world was never meant for one as beautiful as me. He's got all Bohemian Mr. Reynolds. He wants to go to Paris. Ah, uh, every young artist's dream. Actually, you're quite emo, aren't you, sir? Goes with the territory, Vale. Let's hope this works sell so he can afford the airfare. No sane person's gonna pay $500 for that monstrosity. Can't you take five bucks as a lay-by? You underestimate the Spartan. I think someone with visionary insight's gonna buy it. Ten bucks? Oh! Ouch. Maybe I'll run backwards next time. Yeah, impressions of an asshole. Hey, you like it, Jeff? Oh, but where have you asked me? I was thinking where about... Where you sleeping tonight, John boy? Oh, that's awesome, Uncle. What a choice. Hey, fellas. Well, well, uh, hey, um, Valer's leaving town because you're cramping his style and out arting him at every opportunity. You have to say sorry for being an egg. Okay, well, why are you naked and covered in paint? Because, Vale, I'm creating a unique and expensive artwork for a very important collector. While I'm happy about your success at something other than drinking, this is happening at Valer's expense. That's hard, baby. Just once, can't you act like a normal parent? He only told you about his art in the first place because he wanted you to be proud. Little homo, don't make me choose between Valer and Jeff, my new favourite son, because my little boogie will win every time. Hey. Oh, sure, Uncle. Starry, starry night. Paint your pellets blue and grey. Vincent Van go. Was it my piercing eyes? Nah, it was your bandaged ear and the bullet wound in your chest. Mm. I, I blame my parents. Oh, was your dad a dick too? Oh, no, nah, I just blame the parents for everything. Salvador <coughs> Dali. Life's hard, like my penis. Oh, how did you cope, Jean Michel Basquiat? I took heroin. I cut off part of my ear and gave it to the prostitute. I masturbated quite a lot. Oh, these are making me feel quite normal. And one more thing, Valera. Huh? Watch out for the paint fumes. What did you say, Mr. Goldie? The paint fumes. The paint fumes. The paint fumes. I thought this is my bestest work yet. <coughs> Bloody poop. <coughs> Shoot. Oh, Valea, my little artist. Come in, Petty Pie. I think you know everyone, Valea. Valerie. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, Miss. Hi, John. Hi, Witty. Is this the artist you were telling me about? Ah, oh, yes, Peggy. This is one of them. Wow. You want to see my latest piece? It's for you. Oh. I call it Portrait of the Artist with an Asshole Dad. Excellent. I like it. Whoa! Oh. Ah, my painting! My bad. What have you done? I like to call it my Jackson Bollocks. It's a piece commissioned by my generous patron. But she's my art mum. Well, there we found you, thank God. Hello, boys. Hi, you Rick ruined Ryan. my masterpiece. My masterpiece. A oh, good one, Dad. Don't worry, bro. You're a brilliant artist. You can just paint another masterpiece. I've lost my muse. I already rooted her, but don't ask her. She'll just deny. Uh, Dad, Dad, that's enough now. He's getting upset. <sighs> I'm gonna cut you up. Bro, what are you doing? Put the knife down. Oh, oh, no, oh, not in my oh, picture. Oh, oh, my oh, oh, don't fight over me. Oh, my bad. Hey, what happened? Oh, thank God you're still alive. Mm -hmm. Dad's got something to say to you, bro. Son. I wasted you, man! Yeah, top dog! Dad! Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, Uncle! Son. I'm z. I'm z. I'm z. Ah, sorry, I just can't do it, mate. Dad, um, need I remind you, you, you almost cut off your son's ear, one of only two that he has. Mm -hmm. He could have bled to death. Okay, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made you mental with my jealousy, son. That's okay, Dad. Really? Yeah. I understand. I was mental too. It was because your dad never let you draw, eh? So when you saw me getting my chance, it must have brought back all those feelings and... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. No need to be gay about this, son. You know, artists have to work too hard anyway, eh? Guts into a board and pub time. <laughs> it pissed me off. And there's more good news, bro. Here, yeah, someone, I don't know, maybe it was Stevie Wonder, eh? Or someone with a similar condition that bored your painting. Baby, yeah! 
Dad, that was great. You bought that painting, eh? Oh, sure, Uncle. Yeah, yeah, I gave it to Mrs. Rich White, who said you'd give it to her Hebrew mate, Ms. Guggenheim. <laughs> How great sense of humor these Jewish people. Oi, hey, I'm going to the synagogue. I might be some time. Good night, Jewish, good night. God. My bed. My window. Don't make this worse than it has to be. Good night, Jewish, good night. Bye, most special. You can visit it every day, Jeff. My bed. Go on, Jeff, piss yeah. off. We'll see you Good tomorrow. Night. Good night, Kiwi. I might as well stay here tonight, then. Hey, what? Oh, because my gout's come back. What? You don't get gout? Yeah, yeah, because of all the time one I eat, I get a gout. It's very hurtful. What the? All right, then, you can stay another night. Oh, <sighs> sure, so Thanks, boys. Kia ora, kia ora. Hey, mattress. I'm back. Why does that monstrosity have to go in my room? I know it's hard when your kids are amazing, but they can't live your life for you, you know? Forgive me my trespasses. You're a pretty fine artist, actually, son. Chip off the old block, eh? Thanks, Dad. But you're the greatest artist of all. You're the creator. That I am, my son. That I am. Oh, this is my new Francois Styles. It's me and Miss. And Ruben. Yeah. So? This is a hint into the darkness in my mind that's occupied by Valère and Dad. Oh, get over yourself, it's a copycat. This is what I found in Miss Hotere's drawer. Look! Oh, oh, the dirty woman's been dreaming about me. Not even. Oh. Sorry, Valère, but it looks like Ruben's having awesome emo fun with me. Oh, no. <laughs> sorry for Ooh. Ruben. Oh, where? Who's that ugly fella? And what's that thing crawling across his face now? Ooh. Yeah. That's what I like. That's what I'm talking about. That emo haircut really suited you, Valer. You reckon? It was like life imitating art. Yeah. Imitating life. Yeah. Imitating hair. Eh? Hey?